Hi teachers, this short clip um, is a step-by-step -step guide on how to log teacher identified professional learning hours on your Nessa uh, eTams account. First thing you'll do is you'll go to Nessa login on Google search, it's just the easiest way to get there. Nessa login and it should be the very first, very first link. Now what you'll need to do uh, you'll need to type in your Nessa account number and your password. And um, my advice is to click Remember Me or to have your password written down somewhere that you can easily recall. And you'll press Login. And up will pop your dashboard. Um, but we're focusing mostly on the left hand side of the page here. If you go down to Maintenance of Accreditation, and you click that and you scroll down to teacher identified professional development application. Now while that's loading I think it's important for you to have a copy of the Australian Professional Standards for Teachers. Um, I'd recommend possibly downloading a copy and having it on your desktop or you can simply search uh, search it on Google and it'll um, it'll pop up for you. Now to log Teacher Identified PD, so Teacher Identified PD is where you've gone about um, an activity or you've gone to a meeting or you've done some learning and you've realised that after the fact it actually contributes to your teaching and you've learnt something and you'd like to log that for your accreditation. So this is the place where you do that. Down here the first thing you need to do is give it a name. So for this example, we're going to call it PLT meeting. Um, it could be anything. Um, it could be explicit teaching seminar. It could be um, it could be learning walk. Um, anything that you feel you've learnt something. Um, and you will use that learning to improve student learning outcomes. So this one I'm writing PLT meeting. Now that PLT meeting, let's just say went for an hour and 15 minutes. Just keep in, in mind though that this, um, these boxes with the red star, they need to be filled in. Now down here you write the activity type. So for this example, PLT meeting, that could be considered, let me have a think here, a workshop. So if I can see if I could find that. Yes, a workshop, there we go. Also another one for a PLT meeting that you might like to add is, when it loads, a professional reading, for example. Now I've added workshop, Click that, select. Now it'll just add there to the activity type. You can only click one. Now I'm going to say that it occurred yesterday, so the 19th of the 3rd, 2018, and it was only that afternoon. So I just typed the same date in again. If it was something that went over, like you went to a conference and it was a couple of days, then of course you can add in it was over more than one day. Now this part here, how did this activity address the standard descriptors? Now with your teaching standards, these here are the standard descriptors. And if you're a proficient teacher, you're looking at the proficient teacher column, okay? And they all end in two. That's how you know that they're proficient. So down here is when you can select one of your relevant standard descriptors. So for this activity, our PLT meetings in primary relate quite specifically to uh, this one here. Applying knowledge and understanding of effective teaching strategies to support students' literacy and numeracy achievement. So that's 2.5.2. .2. And then possibly we were, we were planning some activities to teach these students. So let's have a look here. Plan and implement well-structured teaching and learning programs or lesson sequences that promote learning. So 3.2.2, .2, I select them. Then in this space here, this is probably the most important space, I need to state how these activities how this activity uh, address the standards. So um, this PLT meeting addressed the standard 
descriptors 2.5.2 and 3.2.2 by. Okay, and you just state simply, succinctly what you learned and how you can apply it to your teaching, how it will improve student learning outcomes. When you've made your statement, and just remember the more standards you tick, the more you'll need to state, then you press add teacher identified activity, and then it will immediately update your teacher identified professional learning hour log, and those hours are yours.